Sun Valley. This is Marie's Kitchen and welcome. Actually, I'm not in my kitchen this morning. I am with Sherry from Craze Market and Garden and I am with a group of kids. They are in camp and they're going to harvest some garlic. I don't know if you saw that. Behind me there is a bunch of garlic. They already harvest some carrots and they are eating them. So let's go and have a wonderful tour with Sherry. I'm here with Sherry. Sherry, we are in a beautiful space here in your garden. I know that your husband Larry and you start this craze market and garden. Can you tell us your story? Sure, we started Craze Market Garden, didn't start out as Craze Market and Garden. We started out just growing produce for ourselves because we're plant-based eaters and we had the space and we wanted to grow our own food year round because it was hard to get local food year round. So we had the space to put the greenhouses in and we did so. We put our first one in in 2015 and we started growing for ourselves. And then when I had too much of some things, I just threw it out there on Facebook saying, hey, we have extra zucchini. Everybody always has extra zucchini, but it <laughs> sold very quickly. And it's like, you know, we can make this a business. So that's when we actually started selling um, our own products a vast array of them in 2016. So 2015 was kind of our starter year. And then we got going in 2016, selling our own produce. And then we figured out that we really needed to have more variety of items to sell than just what we were growing. Okay. And we just happened to have one, our first vendor that we signed on came to get the extra large zucchinis for her pigs. And so she told us that they grew onions and garlic in Fairfield. And it's like, well, if you'd like us to market your product for you through our program. At that time, I was just sending out an email every week to our, our small customer base that of the items that were available. So we started with them. They were our first vendors. And we just gradually started adding more and more local farms to the to our, our system, which our customers can order from all of them. And so it's really grown into, um, we have it's all software online ordering now, and our vendors tell us each week what they have available. We put it on the online store, and then our customers get to order on Saturdays and Sundays um, from the vast array of items available. And it can be anything from baked goods to meats, cheeses, um, all the different produces. We'd have Idahan dog treats. We have um, local um, restaurants like CK's and Oak Street Foods, Mason Family Provisions. They all offer their products through our market as well. So, and our customers get to go in and pick and choose what they want. It's not like you just get a basket. It's not a CSA. It is just an absolute market that you can go in just like you're at the grocery store and hey, say, hey, I want dairy products. And you can click on dairy and you can see everything that we have in the dairy section and you can pick what you want. So uh, we started that and it just, it, it grew leaps and bounds with the vendors. People started trusting us that we would um, market their products for them and get them to the customer in a timely manner. And, and they, the vendors started trusting us and telling the other producers that they would see wow. uh, that we are a good viable option for them to sell their stuff into the valley because we do do the home deliveries. And that's, that's something that makes us unique is that it's mostly local. I think the farthest product we get is from Montana. It's Montana flour and grain. It's a, their flour that they sell. And then also the chicken feed. It's an organic chicken feed that we offer because I feed my chickens the, that feed. And so I get it bulk. My gosh, them, so. it is absolutely amazing, Sherry. I had no idea. I knew what you were doing, but I had no idea how you started. So if, if I can use a word, is that farmers, community kind I see of group? Community, community, and I see it not just farmers, but our customers, because our customers know most of the farmers and the farmers know a lot of the customers just from being either at the farmers markets or mm -hmm. anywhere else that they they get to show their products off and so I always say it's a community that we are servicing it what could because we're doing a huge service to our vendors which is yes. our farmers and producers and we're doing a huge service to our customers because they can get from all of these local producers um, all of this local food that is grown yes. here in the valley or produced here in the valley and you can you only you don't have to go anywhere you know you don't have to go to all the different locations to get this from Mason family or this from CK's we just bring it to you to your home so. that is absolutely amazing and I was uh, oh we have a visitor 
We are in location, let me tell you. We have chicken all over, we have horses, we have goats. And I'm sorry for that, but I'm not because we love That's it. Part of it. That's it is part indeed. Of it, so. I love it, Sherry. I really do. But I was talking earlier with uh, Larry, your mm -hmm. husband, because it's a um, husband and wife business. And he was telling me also that you do tour here. We do. And, and you just got to experience one yes. of the tour groups that we have. It's a, a mountain camp that they have been coming down on Mondays and helping us out with projects. So today they're here. I give them a tour of the farm and show them the animals. That's Tom, by the way. Hi, Tom. <laughs> um, and so I give him a, them a tour of the, um, the horses, the chickens, the goats, and then we go pick carrots. And then um, last, last time they were here, we did a, a willow fence that we went and cut willow branches and wove it into a fence in our nature park. This week, the kids are going to be harvesting our garlic for us. And I think we're going to so, go and help them a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Tom. So yes, we it's know. It's great. And we, this afternoon at one o'clock, we have another tour coming in, um, the Mountain Adventure tours are bringing their five-year-old group and Great. with them they just do a walkthrough I show them the animals and they don't they, they do not do a project they're just here to right. experience the farm some of the, some of the fun things that with the kids pulling their own carrots most of these kids have never had a carrot pulled right from the yes. ground they've had those store-bought carrots and they're shocked at how how good they are yes you know, these carrots are good absolutely like, yeah, it makes a big difference it is a lot of a work. lot of work it is a lot of work but it pays off because when you get a carrot for instance or um, spinach from one of the local producers it is fresh it has not been on a truck for two weeks or in a processing plant right. getting on a truck and going to the grocery store um, it's fresh it's been harvested within the last three days typically and so there's a huge difference, not just in the taste, but in the nutritional value too. It hasn't oh, lost, definitely. You know, it hasn't lost that. So um, it is a lot of hard work, but it's a rewarding work. Um, I always feel good about it, even though we put in long days and every day. I know, know. I so, know farm life. Right, oh, right. I know you work really, really hard and I cannot insist enough by the fact buy local, eat Absolutely. local, you know, Absolutely. it's, it's important to keep you alive and strong. It is. And, it, and our community depends on it. Our vendors yes. depend on it. You yes. know, um, even if it's eating at a local restaurant, um, they need that. They need your support. A lot of the local restaurants try to buy as much local produce as they can and local meat products. So um, I think it, I, I always go back to community. I yes. think it's, it's all that we're in this together. We are knit and, together. Absolutely, mm -hmm. Sherry. And um, thank you so much, Sherry, for hosting and receiving us and show us a little bit around. And now we're going to go in my kitchen and you are going to surprise me with some kind of recipe, right? I will. We'll all right. be using some local products to, to make a great dish. I am so looking forward to it and show our viewers this is what you get when you come directly from the farm to the table or from the farm to the kitchen to the table. Correct. See Correct. you in a bit. Thank you. Hi, Sherry. Welcome back. Thank you so very much for having us in your beautiful garden. And now, an hour or two later, here we are in my kitchen. Time to change and refresh a little bit. It's quiet here than yeah. the roosters. And uh, you are going to, you told me because I asked you, what are you going to do, Sherry? Well, I don't know. I'm going to surprise you, Marie. So what are we doing, Sherry? We are going to do a panzanella salad that is going to use all the local produce that we have available from our vendors and from our garden as well. But I did bring you some flowers Yay, today. Thank so. you. I was looking at them. I was like, oh my gosh, are those for me or just those for are from our garden? As thank well. you, Sherry. Thank, thank you so much. Thank they are you. absolutely gorgeous. And I am a flower girl. I see that. And so this bread is from Hanger Bread. And it's yes. going to feature a lot of our vendors' flower petals. Oh, them. yes. And so Hanger Bread is, he sells his bread through our market every week as well. And he does three different kinds each week. So what we're going to do is we're going to just cube this up, okay. make it into like croutons. Wait, 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 Sharon, look at this, look at this. Isn't, that beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? And I love hanger bread. That's my favorite. Yeah. I am so excited. We have the this bakery when in I town. I up yesterday. He had the uh, orange and cinnamon loaf, and I got half of it, and Larry just fell in love <laughs> with that bread. So. And we know Larry, it's your husband. Yes, yes. And so I just do these in like half inch, okay. quarter inch cubes. All right. So we're going to create croutons. Yes. Okay. Yes, to go with the salad. All right. Look at this bread. Isn't it beautiful? My yes. gosh, I love this bread. 
I go once a week because otherwise, uh -uh. yeah. I come home with the baguette, it's already half done. Exactly, and he is great. Um, yes. So we've, we've been working with him since he was in his um, garage bakery. <laughs> So we've been with Hanger Red. For well, we try to have him, but he's so busy. He he's busy. he's yeah. very busy. Roman, right? Roman. Yes, he's yes. adorable. Look at this bread. It's amazing. And he does slice bread for you if you yes. ask him. He yes, yes. Yeah, bread, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because great, I always so. ask the slice. Yeah. He is he's really good. European style bakery. Yeah. And being from Belgium, this the, I was waiting for that. I wait yeah. long time to have this a bakery, bakery in town. Yeah. Yes, a real bakery. Yay! So, anyway, then we'll just set that aside and we'll okay. Do a little place. and let me know if I can help on any yeah. ways. I will just. I'll just do little cubes. Oh, and then you keep, you know what? Maybe I can help you. Have you. Bread yes, bread. that one awesome. is, so do you want me to do it like this, yeah, Sherry? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. And then this gonna go in a, in yeah, a pan. We'll put a little olive oil in a pan mm -hmm. and brown them with okay. some salt. And I have sea salt, if you want sea salt. That is wonderful, yes. So this one, we're gonna keep it. Yeah, so you have a bigger knife, yeah. yeah. So and, and so we also have a vendor that does, um, it's called Betty's Olive Oil, and it's Elizabeth Stevenson, and she's um, Hillside Grain. It's um, Brett's mom. Oh, I didn't and know she, that. Um, she does this down at their farm in California. So we offer that through our craze market garden as well. Oh, I so, didn't know that. So yeah, that's a good wonderful. thing. Yeah. Oh, this is for me. That's for you. Yay! So that will be lunch. Oops, sorry. I lost one, but that's okay. So what is the next step with the crouton? Just put so a we'll little put bit of olive oil. A little oil. Bit of olive oil, mm -hmm. a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, and like a half teaspoon, teaspoon of salt. Okay. On the, and then we'll put that in the pan, and we'll toast the bread. We'll put the bread in the pan, and we'll toast it up. Okay. And then we will start on our vinaigrette. And you would say one, two I'd tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Olive oil, yes. Okay. So I'm going to start this, and I'm going to put about two tablespoon of olive oil. I want to smell this, so I'm, I'm an olive oil freak. She's got two different varieties. Oh my gosh. This is the most popular one that we offer. Never heard so then of we will Betty's. Just, um, let that heat up a little bit. We'll put the bread in the pan, and we'll put a little salt on there, and we'll toast it up. I'm going to take, and the pan is hot. Great. So Great. I'm going to just throw them in here, and we are going to golden brown. Is that the goal? Yes, it Sherry? is. We would like okay. to have them just crispy enough that it holds, okay. it holds its shape while we when we put it when into we, the salad. When we uh, put so. in the salad. Right. I'm giving right, right. you this. Okay. Thank you. And I'm going to keep an eye on, on the crouton, Sherry. Okay. And I think you're going to start I'm something going to work there. I'm going to work on the vinaigrette. Okay. Which and uh, I did start to heat up the pan high, Sherry. Uh -huh. And I think now I'm going to go medium high. And we are... And I'm keeping an eye on the crouton while you're doing perfect. Your and so this is garlic from our garden. You oh, remember? I know. We got to I see that. Yeah, this we got morning. to the garlic. So. Oh my gosh! When um, when Mike and I arrived that morning, I mean, you know, in the yeah. morning we saw the kids and we're right. like, what's going on here? And we were so excited. Those kids were absolutely they were wonderful. Oh. It was great to get the garlic harvested. And did you see their face smiling oh, and yeah. and be able to help and knowing about the oh the vegetables, the gardens. Well, that's one of the things the kids a lot of the times they don't know where this where their food comes from. That's and exactly to be able right. To have their hands on and. In it, it was great. So it was wonderful, and the joy they, oh, they had on their face, and the joy I had on my face too, yeah, because yeah. it was so much fun. Oh my gosh, I enjoy so much that it's, little segment with the kids. It's fun having the kids. We have all different kinds of groups, whether it's school or like this one was the summer camp. You know, during the summer we have lots of different camps that come down and spend some time with us, either helping out or just getting a tour and feeding the animals so so this is some olive or this is the white vinegar um, white wine vinegar I'm just gonna add the garlic into that good yep good and then garlic. I'm going to need the olive oil back please okay so. I'll share with you I Thanks. I mean I had no idea but yeah. this is, smells so Good. So it's about a half a cup of olive oil goes into the vinaigrette, and it's three tablespoons of the white wine vinegar. 
In the meantime, I'm keeping an eye on your crouton Perfect. and I Perfect. hope I'm doing a good job. Well, that's great for the olive oil. And it's a little bit of Dijon mustard, which we offer through our program as well. It comes from a company in Oregon that does Azure Standard, and they offer a lot of different organic products that we offer through our system as well. You know, basics. In your market. Yeah, because just basics. You have yeah, a market yeah. There. And so things that we can't get locally, like mustards and olives and things like that, I offer through, the, through our market. So. A little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. And so the cucumbers I got from Squash Blossom Farm, which is in Bellevue. They're one of our vendors as well. And I'm just gonna dice those cucumbers up. I did baby cucumbers because it doesn't have as many seeds and I didn't wanna have to seed the cucumbers, so. Ooh, this part looking good, Cherry. It smells just wonderful. Just saying. It smells great. It's been fun to learn to um, eat what is grown during that time of year. You know, like I chose this salad because this is all what's available mm -hmm. through our product, through our market right now. Yes. So the tomatoes came from our greenhouse and then also another gentleman that brings me tomatoes and zucchini and he doesn't even have a business name. He's just farming and for fun. And he called and said, hey, I have a lot of extra tomatoes and zucchini. Oh. So we offer them through the market through through craze. So. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. The sense of community in one basket. Yes. yes and yes, the yes. color, by the yeah, way, it's beautiful. Yeah. And nothing like fresh tomatoes. Nope. I mean, there's nope. nothing like them. So we, with the tomatoes, you just do a coarse chop, depending on the size. You know, the cherry tomatoes I just cut in half. The larger tomatoes I kind of chunk up, so. Oh, it smells so good. I wish the viewers can smell the smell of the tomatoes and I'm what, like a yeah. few feet away from you. Okay, Sherry, I'm gonna show you and you let me know what do you oh, think? I think that looks great. That and looks great? Yeah, do yeah. you want a little bit more? No, I, I think, think it's good. Yeah, okay, thank we're gonna you. put them, I'm gonna turn off and I'm coming your way until we use that. Anything I can do for if you? If you wanna now? do a couple of peppers. So the yep. peppers came from a um, B&G produce and they have their farm in Dietrich. <laughs> Isn't um, but amazing. they're Haley, they're local people from Haley, B and Greg. And so they have beautiful colored peppers. Oh my God, the smell of this. And so do you want me like this, Sherry, and then cute? Yeah, just or chunk is it up. Okay. Know, big chunks is fine. Okay. So. And then these little guys are the Lucky Tiger tomatoes, which are green, but they are ripe. And I, I really like these guys there. Oh, I think I have some of those. And you know who yeah. gave it to me? Dick, Dick oh, Spring uh -huh. and Melinda. Yeah. Yes, I'll show you. And oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. I'm just trying to break up these onions a little bit. Oh, I can do that too, um, Sherry. Yeah, it's probably, I love red onions. Yeah. I think they make it great. And then we will add the breadcrumbs, the croutons that we toasted, and then the vinaigrette, and we'll just toss it all up and okay. easy and fat. Then we're so, in. Yeah. Okay, I'll bring the the, the croutons, Sherry. Awesome. And do you want me? No, we're gonna wait until the croutons yeah, we can are just in. Put just the put the croutons in. Yep. Put all of them. Put yep. Okay. That's a it's lot. It's a bread. Croutons. It's a bread and tomato salad. Is no what kidding. What panzanella is? So. All right. And then now we're gonna bring this. Pour that over, Yum. and we'll toss it. Toss it, toss it. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, we're gonna toss. Look at this. And if this is not a summer salad, I don't know it's what it is. Isn't it beautiful? It is it gorgeous, is and it smells really, really good. So, and I think because of the vinaigrette, we're gonna wait maybe five yeah, minutes. Let it set so the yeah, flavors can five, combine. But you don't minutes. want to let it set too long too because long. the bread no, will get soggy. Then it's gonna yeah, get soggy. Yeah. want the bread to be crispy. Mm. Yeah, so. You don't want it soggy bread. Oh my gosh, look at this. Pretty. Think about doing something like that. So we're gonna just wait a few minutes mm -hmm. and Correct. then my favorite part's coming up. Yes. yes, thank you. <laughs> and we'll be right back. Okay, Sherry, now my favorite part. Everybody sure. knows that. Let me do um, something for yes, you. Yes, please. Let's, and we, we just let sit three minutes. Yeah, just long enough to combine the yeah. flavors a little bit. 
not let the bread get too soggy. Right, the... because then it's not fun. Yeah. See? <laughs> I should, no, it's my fault. I should have gave yeah, you a that's bigger okay. spoon. No, I'm just going to do one spoon. All right, and then later. for yep. you. And yum, yum, yum. That smells so good. And the worst part of the salad is the bread, but it's my favorite. <laughs> it's my favorite part. So. Okay. All right. Well, we have some to share with. We the, do. You know, we will we, definitely yes. share. So I'm going to dig in tomato. That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. It's so summery. Oh my gosh. And you, the balance of vinegar. I'm a vinegar person. I love acidity. Oh, it's perfect. My goodness, it's so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm gonna get just a tiny crouton. Oh, so crunchy. So, mm -hmm. so, so delicious. I would never thought about making that salad, ever. It's so refreshing. Mm -hmm. It is indeed. So again, Sherry, thank you so much for hosting us. And thanks to your husband, Larry. I know mm -hmm. he's in the shadow, yeah. but he's a great, great guy. And uh, cooking is love for me, Sherry. Everybody knows that now. And I, I love the sense of community. I, I have a connection with you now mm -hmm. because we have the same kind of vision for the farm lifestyle, mm -hmm. for the vegetable coming directly from your garden to our table. Share with your friends, share with your family, mm -hmm. buy local, mm -hmm. eat local, and in the meantime, be nice to each other. Oh, yes. Until next time, thank you, Sherry. Oh, thanks, Au revoir.